Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. It's a beautiful day in Hong Kong and I'm right outside my center filming by the water for episode 3 of The Domain Versus series. I've just had such a great response from episode 1 and 2. I couldn't wait to get out episode 3 and I had something very special planned for this one. Now originally I was going to have a Promethean Soldier versus ODST Recon but then I was re-watching some old cutscenes from Spartan and I just thought about this epic scene where Lasky shotguns this Promethean Knight straight in the face and I had to try and recreate it. It's one of my favorites. It was so dramatic at the time and here it is brought to life. I'm gonna run down this diorama and then also talk about our diorama competition that's happening on Discord right now, how you can enter and how you can win a sealed pelican inbound. You heard that right. We're doing a diorama competition to celebrate a thousand members on our Discord and you can win a pelican. So more details about that later. I'll start by breaking down this diorama. What inspired me? I mean, it's just so epic. Look at this thing. I want to first off, you know, iterate that this is not set on board the UNSC Infinity. Like this is clearly in some kind of Promethean chamber. My thoughts exactly were what if Lasky was actually kidnapped at that scene? Or specifically, what do you think the Prometheans would have done with Lasky? Would they have just killed him? Because they were after to Halsey, right? They weren't really interested in Lasky, so maybe they would have killed him. Maybe they would have taken him to Julem Dharma. It's very unclear. So I would have liked to imagine that Lasky was touched by the Promethean Knight and immediately teleported away. And then he had some kind of desperate struggle for survival. Maybe in Julem Dharma's quarters, maybe in some kind of Promethean corridor. It's all up to your own interpretation. So I started with the Promethean Knight and Lasky, but then I just couldn't help adding some poor Halo 4 Marine. I've put his hands so he's still sort of reaching out to Lasky trying to help his boss and Lasky doesn't really look like he needs that much help but he's still up against a very formidable foe. We've also got Roland there he's sort of observing the situation. I guess he would have stayed on board the Infinity but I wanted to add him in and then we have a Promethean soldier. I know that's technically not Halo 4 either. Maybe this is set during Halo 5. Maybe it's just set in a parallel universe. Who knows? But we've got this soldier. Lasky took him out first and he's almost slipping off this little control control module and Lasky just fighting for his life. The one thing that I think a lot of people were annoyed about in the Spartan Ops cutscenes, the strength of Promethean Knights were just so random. Like Palmer was pistol headshotting them in the face and destroying them, but his shotgun round, maybe it'll destroy the knight, maybe it'll just take his shields down. We're gonna talk about this base next, which I'm such a big fan of. We had a Magnum just fell off and then a scatter shot underneath. I tried to tear it as much as possible, give it a real 3D element. So we've got a lot of transparent bricks that hold these two platforms together and then a load of sort of blue translucent bricks with some lava. It's all just, you know, energy flowing through. Maybe this is in the middle of being destroyed. Maybe Lasky is trying to evacuate. I like this little shield design. This is just a really nice way to block the two figures off, separate them almost, and then have them fighting over the side. It also shows which character asserts dominance, like the knight is coming over the shield, so he's sort of in control of the situation. Lasky sort of hiding a little bit behind that shield taken cover. Then we got a load of these transparent smoothed off ones. I like these. They sort of just hold the build up really nicely. It's quite simple, but I think it's layered really well and it does its job, which is, you know, supporting these characters in their epic duel. So overall, fellas, I'm just really impressed with this build. I love this series and I think these 1v1 dioramas will be a mainstay of my YouTube channel. So many iconic representations of in-game cutscenes, even out of universe non-canon 1v1s are just really fun. So please do let me know if these are the kind of things you want to see in the future and please fill the comments with more ideas of what you want to see next. A couple of these have been suggested by the community. I would love to hear what you have to say and I would love to build one based on your idea. I hope I also went into enough detail about this. I forgot to fin these pieces up on the night before but they look so menacing, so epic. I also had the Lasky sort of blown back a little bit from the recoil of the shotgun. I'm having a lot of fun with this series and you guys can get involved too. We are doing a competition on our Discord to celebrate 1k members. You have to create a diorama. It can be any kind of base plates. It can be a mix and match of different pieces attached together.
together. It then has to be a 1v1 battle. You can use any figures. You can use your own custom painted or molded figures. You can do whatever you want. And you're allowed to add civilians. You're allowed to add terrain pieces, broken vehicles, whatever you need to make what you imagined. More details on exactly how you can submit these will be going live in 24 hours on our Discord. So join the Mega Constructs Domain Discord. Make sure you're there, ready for the announcement in 24 hours. We'll give you exact details on how to submit. But in the meantime, get your bricks going, get building, and good luck with your dioramas. And I cannot wait to see the creativity that you guys come up with. This was another video with The Domain, episode three of our Versus series. I'll see you for episode four. Make sure to check out all of the coverage of all the new set leaks we've been going through recently. Have a great day out there. The Domain is signing off. Shoo.